What is up guys? So this video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit of a combination from the end of last week and the beginning of this week. I had a little bit of extra leftover footage from last week that I thought was pretty good and I wanted to include in the video and the beginning of this week's been slow anyway. So I'm just going to throw it in with this video. <laughs> what? What on earth, dude? Great Plains rat snake. Crap. All right, well, that got away. And then there's a black tail. Check this little guy out, he's cool looking. Can you grab that every hand and find him? Yeah. All right guys, well that little emery I got away because of uh, the confusion with two species at once, but here's another look at this interesting little black tail. Look at that striped neck. That's an incredible looking little snake, probably from last year's baby batch. Such a cool looking little snake. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes my night even if we don't see anything else. So we're gonna keep shining. It feels really nice out here. A little breeze blowing, it's cooling off. And uh, the snakes are evidently out, so we're gonna keep after it. Oh man, Steven just found the next snake of the night. And he is nice. That is a good looking little ground snake. Look at that, beautiful red. He's going. That is a nice snake. Holy crap. And I don't see a terrible lot of these guys out here. They're pretty common, but not like an every night sort of thing. So decent find. We are going to photograph him and keep herping. It's around midnight now and we have only seen three snakes, but at least they're still out. So we're going to keep herping. All right, guys, we just cruised our next snake of the night. This big checkered garter snake seen a lot of these guys recently more in the past week than i have all year whoa stop it nope he went anyways pretty common species down here apparently so we're gonna keep at it and see what else we can find all right guys next snake of the night this little night snake crawling through the grass here right by this cut believe it or not this is the first one of these we've seen in this area um despite how many of them we see everywhere else so pretty cool Nice addition to the species list for this cut for us. So we're gonna get a couple of quick voucher shots of this guy and leave him to his business. Steven just got scared by cows. It's getting pretty late, but we're still at it. Yeah, I guess the last snake we saw was that night snake and that was probably about 30 minutes ago. But we're probably getting close to calling it a night. So if I see anything else, I'll check back in with you. And if not, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello there, beautiful. Oof, that's a good looking snake as always. Nice looking black tail. We're almost back to Alpine, but we cruised this guy. So of course we're gonna get him out of the road. And uh, there's one more cut I think we're gonna hit tonight. Look at that head pattern. Yeah, that's crazy. What an awesome snake. Anyways, we're gonna get this guy out of the road and shine one more cut before heading home. No, he's just chilling. All right, guys, this is almost certainly going to be our last snake of the night. We hit this cut right here by Alpine, and this is only the second night snake I've ever seen here. But this is NC2 just crawling along this little, uh, what is this thing called? Curve. Curve. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're going to leave this guy to it and probably call it a night. All right, guys, so it's the afternoon of yesterday is Tuesday, second day of my last week in Texas. And today we're going to do the thing that is the easiest way to actually just see snakes in the desert. And that's cruising grasslands during baby season. So I'll check back in when we get out to where we're going and give you guys some more details. It's a cloud. So one of the reasons that going to the grasslands this time of year is so productive is because the baby rattlesnakes are out for one. Um, for two, other baby snakes are out and they're oftentimes less common than the baby rattlesnakes but they still make for good numbers sometimes like the baby gopher snakes especially and the third reason is because adult rattlesnakes are breeding right now so there's a whole lot of snake movement going on out here in these lush grasslands and what we're going to do tonight is drive this road and see what kind of snakes are crossing it so i will check in with you guys when we see something 
good spot. <laughs> He's struggling. These guys are always something we're hoping to see when we come out to the grasslands, but this is a nice looking Texas horn lizard. Pretty common out here, so we're just gonna get this guy out of the road and keep cruising. So this is gonna go one of two ways. We're gonna start seeing snakes once it gets dark, or we're just not gonna see anything at all because it's been so slow recently. Neither of those options would really surprise me, but we're gonna have to wait to find out which one it's gonna be, so I'll keep you guys updated. So the reason there's snakes out here, you see those rabbits right there, is uh, that's a big food item for big snakes like this guy right here. Look at that. That is a big diamondback. He is not happy. Wow. That thing's cool looking. Yeah. Hook that guy up so we can see how big he is. He's so fat. I don't like I don't either. That's scary, dude. Anyways, first snake of the night. Look at him raising himself up off the ground. I've never seen one do that. That's crazy. Anyways, first snake of the night. We're going to get this guy away from the road and see if we can find any more. The distant rattling of the first snake of the night. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can find. Look at the gnats, ugh. Where'd those rabbits go? All right, guys, just got our next snake of the night. Little baby Mojave rattlesnake from last year. Look at that rattle. That's last year's baby. That's kind of weird. Yeah. So you can tell this is not this year's baby, even though it is kind of small because he has quite a few little buttons on his rattle right there. But anyways, two of the three rattlesnake species on this road so far. So we're gonna get this little guy out of the road and keep cruising. All right, next snake of the night is this little Mojave rattlesnake. This guy is one of this year's babies. You can see he's just got the one little button right there called the terminal button. But good looking little snake. We're gonna get this guy out of the road Hopefully there are plenty more to come after this guy, so definitely a nice looking little snake. That's that scoot look that I really like. Look at that nice contrasty snake. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Normally these are a pretty boring species of rattlesnake in my opinion, but these dark ones are really nice looking. I like them a lot. Anyways, third Mojave rattlesnake of the night. He's puffing up and probably going to start showing his true colors here in a second but we're gonna try to get him out of the road before he gets run over. Good looking Mojave. Look at that purple tongue. And that nice dark contrast to yellow and brown head. Good looking rattlesnake. Four snake of the night, right? Yeah. Look at how he's raising him. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna get him out of the road. It's a baby Aatrox this time. Again with the little terminal button. Hello, with the little terminal button. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at how tiny he is. That is our second neonate rattlesnake of the night. And our second species is a baby rattlesnake too. So here is a prairie rattlesnake, our third species of rattlesnake for the night right here. And then up here... Uh, no, I kind of want to look at it more, but I want to get this guy first because this is cool. There is a coach whip sleeping in this tree right here. 
Look at that. Very cool. Let me get a photo real quick and then I'll grab him. There we go. Look at that. Ah! All right, guys, I left my video light at home like an idiot today, but here's this prairie rattlesnake that we just found. And here's another look at the coach whip that I found in the tree when we stopped to look at this guy. That is our third species of rattlesnake of the night and another good looking one. This is definitely the most uncommon species of rattlesnake we see on this road. Uh, this is like my fourth or fifth here ever. So pretty cool find. Uh, we're gonna make sure this guy gets off the road. We just got stopped by a game warden. He was stopping to see what we had here. So uh, we're gonna make sure this guy gets off the road and stays and I'm gonna put this coach whip back in his tree. He's good. Hey, buddy. We thought you were hit. Being all weird, sitting all weird. Our second prairie rattlesnake of the night. Okay, chill out, brother. Hey, Steven, we need a hook on deck. Prairie rattlesnake number two for the night, though. All right, guys, 10.30 p.m. update. It's 82 degrees still, so it's nice and warm, but we have now seen two rattlesnakes of each of the three grassland species for six snakes total. So I haven't seen anything that wasn't a rattlesnake yet, but that's kind of to be expected this year, or this time of year, this year. I'm going to say that again. Anyways, we still haven't seen anything that wasn't a rattlesnake, but that's kind of to be expected this time of year because of their breeding season and all that. So, anyways, we're going to keep on cruising, and I'll keep you guys updated on anything else we see. Ooh, that boy. Baby Scoot. Hey, buddy. This is our third juvenile scoot. Look at that little stripe. Yeah, he's That's nice. nice. Anyways, third one of these we've seen tonight. Another good looking one. We're going to get this guy out of the road and keep cruising. This is our seventh snake of the night. That's pretty good so far. All right, guys, here's our eighth snake of the night. Another baby scoot. It is definitely that time of year. Look at that little button. This one's nice too. Got some really nice jagged edges on his bands or blotches or whatever you want to call those things. Anyways, we're gonna get this little guy out of the road and keep cruising. Look for snake number nine of the night. Oh, fuck yeah. Desert King! Look at that. Beautiful little desert king snake. Freaking awesome. Nice. Wow. That's only the this is the first one that hasn't been run over on the head that I've seen this year. Well, my net is officially made. That's cool. Beautiful little desert king snake. Our ninth snake of the night. That's an awesome little snake. Anyways, we're gonna get some photos of this guy and keep cruising and see what the magic number 10 is gonna be, if there is one. Beautiful Desert King snake. Got speckling. Spotted our tenth snake of the night. 